Hello guys welcome back to Aim Amy. In this video we are learning about the internal gear pump and its working principle. Liquid enters the suction port between the rotor, large exterior gear, and idler, small interior gear teeth. Liquid travels through the pump between the teeth of the gear within a gear principle. The crescent shape divides the liquid and acts as a seal between the suction and discharge ports. The pump head is now nearly flooded, just prior to forcing the liquid out of the discharge port. Intermeshing gears of the idler and rotor form lock pockets for the liquid which assures volume control. Rotor and idler teeth mesh completely to form a seal equidistant from the discharge and suction ports. This seal forces the liquid out of the discharge port. Let's check out the parts and construction. This is the housing of the pump. Having flanged ends. Flange size can be vary as per the requirement. Here is the shaft which connected to internal gear. It transmits power and motion throughout a bearing. This is back deck. Provides a cover for the flanged body or we can call it as a housing. The internal gear is driven by shaft which drives the external gear and generates a pressure head. Divider is provided for the smooth flow of liquid through the pump. Thank you for watching our video. If you like our video please support us. Please comment and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.